It's 813 now and competition heats up at the Cintas Center today as nearly 100 schools and groups compete in the Winter Guard International. The big event brings students from across the region right here to Cincinnati. Local 12's Catherine Robinson joins us live now at the Cintas Center uh, where today's competition is about to start. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Adam. This is the prize that everyone's competing for today as finals are about to get started here at the Winter Guard International Competition. 13 states represented this weekend, but there's also some homegrown talent here as well. Right now, I want to bring in Trevor Jordan with WGI. Thanks so much for being here this Thanks morning. For me. Yeah. Yeah, first, I want to hear a little bit about uh, kind of just what this competition is, what we're going to see more of here today. Sure. So we are WGI Sport of the Arts, Winter Guard International, and we're kind of this umbrella organization that has these three divisions that are competing. So on one hand, that's color guard, another it's percussion, and then it's winds. So today we do have Mid-East Power Regional. That's both here at Cintas today for color guard, and then we also have it at bb and Arena for percussion, and then percussion wins yesterday. And what we have going on here with Power Regional, it's kind of that next step up from what we have with our regionals, which we start at the beginning of February. And it's giving it that big arena feel for these teams that are competing nationally, that are competing locally, even for the audience, to give them that feel of world championships, a taste of it before we actually get there. And I know these teams are really warming up right now because it gets started at 830. Mm -hmm. But you were saying uh, some of us might have an idea of what we could expect to see, but these are the teams that are really kind of upping the ante here. Yeah, exactly. So yesterday we had prelims and this is final. So it's we have these two day events, which we're really excited about because we're able to pull such a wide variety of groups, a wide variety of states, like you said, 13 states represented and local groups such as Fairfield, Milford and Mason performing today. And it's just exciting to see them take maybe what they had in prelims and kind of see anything that could have gone wrong or what they had that was a challenge and opportunities for improvement that they're able to make today. So oftentimes you'll see these these jumps in kind of performance or just these teams being able to clean up things that otherwise they wouldn't have the opportunity to. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining me, Trevor. We're gonna stay here, get started as things get started here at 830. We'll send it back to you in studio, Adam. All right, Catherine, thank you very much. And the World Championships are next week. A few of the preliminary events also gonna be held at the